It's a Titanfall dance. Leave it alone, man. Can't get anything done since I got Titanfall beta access. Hey, what's up, guys? Bill Fox, and welcome to the Minecraft Monday show. All right, that's right guys. Welcome to President's Day. That's a thing. I get off work. That's all I care about. Speaking of work, shout out to the guy who had uh, at work hooked me up with that dance. He came up with it, not me. But welcome to the Minecraft Monday show. Here talking about all your Minecraft news and what's going on. Keeping you guys fully updated about everything going on within Minecraft. Everything from our community to the news. Also, congratulations to the $100 winners for Jinx.com, 25 bucks each, like every week. But, let's get into the news now, because Minecraft the movie is back on schedule. That's right, Brandon from Rocket Jump came out hiding, and it has been discovered that everybody is okay and cool. Last week, Notch went ahead and tweeted, uh, we don't exactly let half a million dollar project go on without our permission. Thing was, it wasn't really in the loop because they did have their permission. Everything from the post Kickstarter to the current, and they've been talking. So this is great to hear because nobody had any problems, but Brandon did take the Kickstarter offline during that period. The reason why is because Mojang did have some issues with the prizes that were given with backers. Basically, they want to see things as donation instead of paying for something. Kind of interesting. All these are within Brandon's tweets, and the only person they've heard from is the Rocket Jump lawyer, so that's a good thing. Yay, no lawsuits, yay for fan fiction, plus one for Minecraft community. And thanks to everybody who commented last week on what kind of movie would you like to see Minecraft as, a fan fiction or an animation? And what can you expect for the future of Minecraft? Well, the great inventory rewrite of 2014, Dinnerbone's working on it right now, making everything a little bit more categorized and making sense within the creative menu. But next is going to be looking at the adventure survival features, I'm a big fan of because we have the hardcore snapshot series so yes and then this week we also saw snapshot 14w07a not much to cover didn't even do a video on it to be honest it's mostly a lot of recoding but they did also come out with iron trap doors there you go new item well pocket edition fans you guys always want more pocket edition news out of me well they do have new mobs coming out as jebs is working jebs i never said jebs it's always yens jeb not jebs but he has Enderman he's working on, so you guys can see that in the next update. Alright, Minecraft community video time! Speaking of Mojang, uh, Lydia Winters is working on videos again, and this time a parody called I Love Blocked in time for Valentine's Day. She also worked on this with Aurelian, I Has Cupquake, and music by Pedro composing it. With Fire UK helping make a happy-go-lucky world, not exactly what they're used to. Next is Ambush. This is a very small animator here, but a great idea. I love it. First person view, looking at the chaos of being attacked. And I'm a sucker for slow motion explosions. And finally, you're going to realize in this video just how much cows hate pigs in this 1920s film apparently shooting each other in a dog fight. Now, what if I gave you this Minecraft fish? Huh? That'd be cool. You'd be like, oh, hey, that's awesome. You made me a Minecraft. I can't do that. Well, first of all, because Greg Aronowitz made this. But because it's the internet. Can't just smash it through your screen. But what I can give you is amazing downloads in this segment I like to call holy shit. Did you see that in Minecraft? Segways. Not the things you ride, the transition thing. Well, two builders went crazy making this one called the Temple of Nahir and... I personally love the top-down view of this myself. But if you jump in the design courtyard, you'll see a dragon looming just over the corner. Next is Hypel Castle. This one really looks like it belongs in Mordor as the local Mordor town hall or something. If you like this, you'll please know that they're working on a variation of this that doesn't look so evil. The opposite. Next, a mega crazy spawn, almost like buildings stacked on top of each other, but it's a big crazy spawn palace, so on the inside it looks pretty sweet. And it has a world download so you can check it out yourself, like all these. It seems like somebody's holding a spawn build contest, but this one's nice and pointy and cool. And finally, the city of Reinhardt. It's not a big crazy build, but me personally, I like how well laid out it is. And this nice keep just off the mainland. It's not crazy, it's just nice. Next up is your mods, and ah, uh, I feel... Pocket Edition mod, Flappy Bird. Uh, I'm sorry. There's enough people trying to download this god-awful game that no longer exists and recreate it and try to make money off of it. But here you go, Pocket Edition mod. Enjoy. You do die when you touch the, the thing. 
<laughs> Not many pocket edition mods. I know, I know I'm just feeding the trolley system of a terrible, terrible game. But this one is way cooler and it's called Star Quest. Cetra really found this one. People in Minecraft are always trying to combine space and Minecraft. Hell, even Notch gave up on that one with 0x10c. So, here we go with another attempt. Just keep twisting the knife. But these guys make ships nice and movable, and not only that, but also adds eight different planets. Now this mod is a lot more than just spaceships, as it has all the things that go about making them as well, as you can create futuristic, awesome, harvesting machines that help out and make you prosperous. So work with these smart machines, or just become a pirate and steal everything else. That sounds more awesome than me. Yeah, I love EVE Online, what can I say? Your texture pack this week is called Paper Cutout. Paper Mario fans are gonna love this. I've seen ones like this before, but this is the new one. Overall, punching everything in the face and making it flat. But it's so cute! I think you guys will enjoy it. Your skins this week, I have for you an orc, warrior of the sea, strong bad, newspaper boy, pirate, yar, and just a dude called Axe. Now, there you guys go. Fully updated on everything going on in Minecraft this week. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to click follow and click like, and it helps. Follow. This isn't twitch.tv slash box. This is YouTube. Click subscribe. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Also, follow me on Twitter if you guys want to submit anything. Go ahead and tweet it up to me or go to bbobvox.com. And you have all the emails on there, category specific. This week, I also have more hardcore snapshot on the gaming channel and upcoming Titanfall. If you guys missed the Game On reviews this week on this channel, it is of Titanfall and Planetary Annihilation. So much awesome destructive. You guys will love them. Check them out. I also just realized I flicked off people in the UK. I'm sorry. That's a thing if you guys didn't know. But hey, guys, that's it for me. I'm BR Fox and a new PO Box this week. Oh, I'm really so busy. See you guys next week. And as always, I miss you. Happy Minecrafting. Ah! Ah!